Well, Ed's doing his thing. We're getting some primer on. Looking good. I'm losing the booth for right now, but I'll get it later on tonight. I can move that car out. And uh, Daniel moving ahead. That's the final coat of primer on there. And he was hedging, but I really expect to have some green paint on there this week. And that will be pretty exciting because this chassis is all dusty and dirty. It's been sitting here for so long and it's ready for a green car. So for Daniel's car. We have it all wet sanded. And, uh, it's all wet sanded now. Yeah. You got any more spot priming or? No, I think we're going to be okay. Okay, so. It's got a couple of spots on the, uh, the burn through to the gel coat. It's very fine edges. And that's got a hint of uh, wax and grease remover smell to it. Are you well, doing it with right water now, or you just got? This is straight water. I'm going to wipe it down with a wet cloth and get the dust off. And okay. then I will be wiping it down again with wax and grease, the entire thing. So if anybody's watching this as a painter, they can tell. This is, this is slick. This is right. This it's is it's smooth. smooth. This car is smooth. It's smooth. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think you can kind of see the color there. The bottom's already painted. That it's that green. It's a it's like an original type color. It's smooth. Yeah. I like it. It, cool. it was a little bit leery in the beginning, but not anymore. No, I like it. It's different. Everybody's got the metallics and the metal flakes and the weird yep. wild colors and everything. And this is just a very very nice solid green and you can see where it's wet if you look at the lines we're checking you out and you see kind of little dimples there but when you got leds too that makes a difference in the way the lights are but yeah. you can tell it's straight that that reflection is straight yeah it's pretty good i'm gonna get it all wiped down and i'm gonna get the doors wiped down and then we're going to inspect it real close after we clean it good, make yep. sure there's no pinholes or anything that we're not. And we got some new tack rags here. We're ready. And I brought your, uh, yeah. I had your activator in the other building. I brought that all okay. back down. So you've got all your materials here. Yeah. No, I'm we're gonna... ready. This thing's, it's ready to get paint and blown away. Yeah. The floor's all wet. It actually feels clean in here. It helps a lot. It helps a lot. So. Got some racks for the doors, get the doors painted at the same time. Sealers on deck, and I better be uh, videoing from outside the booth now, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got, I'm going to wipe it down one last time with wax and grease, and then I'm going to start spraying. No runs, no drips, no errors. Awesome. That's all we always know for. So we're getting a little bit of sealer on today. Next to be the smooth green. I think we'll probably just take a look at it when it comes out of the booth next. So it, it's about the details. <laughs> yeah. You got it in sealer, but you found some minor spots. Very minor. So you found a minor spot there. Yeah, tiny little pinhole. A tiny little pinhole. Yeah. But it's important that it's not going to be there. Yeah, you can't. Is that the only it. one you found in the whole car? Uh, right on the edge of the visor, and that was right in front. I found three tiny ones there, so little. But again, it was a pinhole, and once you got it, you can see where I filled and lightly sanded. I wet sanded right there after I filled the pinhole. Uh, so I need to put my glasses on. Maybe, yeah, maybe you can see it with the camera. I can't see it. Yeah. We have the smooth green going on. There it is. It's been a long time coming, but. It's getting there. Considering there's no clear on it yet, it's actually looking pretty shiny and looks pretty darn straight. So Ed's putting the move on smoothie. Daniel's car. The body and chassis meet. So the body's all painted. Looking good. The chassis's been painted. Uh, got a lot of it done. Brake lines are run. It's ready to put on. It's ready to bolt down. So this will probably be the last time, at least while it's here, for I can't think of any reason why we're going to need to take the body back off. Everything's been pre-fitted. Uh, we've got the set, you can see the hole for the steering column and for the uh, brake pedal, the shifters through there. And we've got the steering column fits. All that's been test fitted. Now it's just down to uh, get it bolted down, a little bit of wiring, uh, moving this one forward. 
love to see it painted. I love the smooth, smooth green. It's a real retro look. I'm gonna accent it with some black striping, maybe some black and red. I think uh, Dan was talking about maybe some red wheels. I don't know what uh, what he's gonna do, but I think that would look good. I don't know. I couldn't help myself. We happen to have these these wheels sitting there. That might look pretty cool with a, a chrome cap on that and a chrome trim ring and red in there. Maybe some black and red stripes. Anyway, that gives you an idea of what it, it possibly could look like. It'll give it that old retro look. I'm liking it. Hopefully you do too. But that all don't really matter. The big issue is, does Dan like it? <laughs>